We made it to St. Mary's, but it was dark. Hi, my name is Lucho. This is my first maid, Anna. And together with our baby boat, Ceviche, we're gonna discover the Chesapeake Bay. Come with us. Hola. We really wanna stop in St. Mary's, because we've never been there. It's a very historical town. It's actually one of the first colonies in the Chesapeake Bay. And, and it was the capital of Maryland for a while, then it moved to Monopolis. I don't remember all these details, but we're gonna learn it when we get there. We're gonna do a tour of the city. All right, you see the change in colors in the water? This is where the bay meets the salty water of the lower bay. The upper bay meets the salty water of the lower bay. Look at that. This is Point Lookout. That's where the Potomac starts and meets the bay. This used to be a military fort during the Civil War. Okay, so we made it to St. Mary's, but it was dark. So, <laughs> we don't see shit. We don't know where the fuck we are. I mean, we, we kind of know because of the navigator. So, we, we anchored in this bay. That is supposed to be an anchoring bay, but I wouldn't see anyone, any other boats. So, I don't know. The thing is, um, Anna is cooking. Baby! cooking pasta, so it's gonna be great. Uh, we're gonna have some pasta, but in the meantime, I'm like, like fishing. Got pasta we cook tonight. I don't think we can see anything, but with octopus. We keep, we keep some pasta here. In a boat, we keep some, uh, uh, you know, kind of octopus and it's good stuff. But just for, you know, these kind of emergencies when we are stranded in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we hardly made it to har safe harbor. But, you know, we have good food. We can still eat good. So thank you, baby. Viste que se ve? Good morning, St. Mary's. So we anchored last night in St. Mary's. Beautiful morning. Ah, this is the best. This is the best part of boating, the mornings. Generator, everything is charged. Wow. So today we're gonna discover the town. I think uh, right in front of us is the Mary's College, <laughs> which is also a national park and a historical uh, part of the town. Uh, this was one of the first colonies, I mean, before Annapolis and St. Michael's. This is where the, the colonies started. I mean, if it's a perfect harbor, you, see, you can see, super calm, close to the bay, close to the ocean, rich in life. I mean, last night we, were, we see all the fish and crabs and everything swimming around the boat. So it made perfect sense to establish the first colonies here. 
today we're gonna go um, explore. I'm sure it's gonna be fun. All right, so uh, we call in to the national park here and they say it's okay to duck in the marina. That's where we're going. We're ducking in the marina, we're gonna take the bikes out and we're gonna bike around the old city of St. Mary's which is really a college now, so it's not really a city. It's just a college and on the grounds of the old city. Biking. Let's go over some berries. So this is one of the oldest churches found back in the day. This church is uh, the principal church on St. Mary's, the oldest one, founded on 1634. I wish we can get inside, but it's closed on Mondays. And this is a cemetery. Facing the river. What a beautiful place. Super old trees. Hundreds of years old. Super old tombs, 1878. You can tell. Some of them you can't even read because it's so old. Little beach here. Beautiful. That's the cross over there. This is the cross that uh, symbolizes Christianity here in the New World. So when the ships arrive, they see the cross, they knew it was safe, safe harbor. So this is the old estate house. This is where the government was running the city that is down there. We'll go, we'll get to that. So it's super old.
So that's a replica of an old ship back in the day. So this is what uh, would, look, would look like if you were standing here in the 1600s. You see the ships there in the harbor, and then here you have the state house. And down there is the rest of the city. So this is the waterfront of the old city. You see the ship? Just like they used to be. That's a replica of the ships back in the day. Replica of the ships back in the 1600s. Let's get closer. So the big ships will always stay anchored in the middle of the river in deep water. While you see the small boat, they use the small boat to carry supplies in and out, things coming from Europe in and out. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. It's so impressive. It's like traveling through time. Amazing. This is where the old city starts. So this is how the houses used to look like. Back in the day. And the farmland. So most of the structures we've seen so far are replicas, wood replicas, except the, the state house, which is kind of being modernized uh, with, with time. But this is actual walls from the time. So this is actual constructions from the time. They were buried and they have been uncovered. You see the wall, the brick? So there's, there's been a lot of excavations here. You see the, the, the black plastic in there is to cover the areas where uh, the archeologists come once in a while and excavate. A lot of the students in the university here do that too. So this is actual brick from the time. It's really strong. These are all replicas where the old houses used to be. So the town, this used to be the whole town settled here. So this is one of the cannons discovered here that they used to use to defend themselves against pirates and also other colonies. Remember, the colonies were like sometimes uh, independent states, they would fight with each other and also the Indians. So this barn is actually original. The wood structure is from uh, 1785. One of the oldest original wood structures in here. It was used until uh, the beginning of the 19th century. So this was uh, one of the original churches, but uh, it was only found, the foundation was only found. So they, uh, they built a new one on top of the old foundation be the Indian grounds where the Indians used to live among the colonists and this is how they used to make canoes as we saw in St. Michael's from the tree they burn it this is one that is more advanced and these are their houses these are the 
the way the Indians used to have their houses. So they live among the colonists. They help each other. After touring for about two, three hours, we are ready back to the boat. Back home, home sweet home, ceviche. Thank you for watching. We hope these videos help promote the Chesapeake Bay. If you're new to our channel, check out our introduction video. Also, help us promote the Chesapeake Bay by giving this video a like and subscribe. You can also help the make of these videos through Patreon. Check it out.